When Viorica was 15, she was abducted from her village and driven to an apartment in the suburbs of the capital, Chisinau. Four men raped her constantly for 24 hours. When she fought or screamed, they beat her till she bled. Then they told her it was time to go to work. Every night, 20 men. Even when I do, they send money or salt. I cheat them. They take cocaine and come at me. Same for the men, beat me, rape me every night. It was only them? Uh. The four men. Were they a part of something bigger? They talk about other girls, other places, but I never meet. I'm not allowed to leave apartment on my own. Once I run away, it is too much for me. I go back to my home, my parents, but my father is ashamed of me. He says I am dead to him. My father says this. Then I find out I am pregnant. You want to take a break? No, I want to tell. The men find me. They know I go to my village. They follow me. They beat me and beat me. I am so scared for a baby. I think they will kill me. Who wants to stop? The old man is coming. Old man is Rama America. Come back to Moldova to look at girls. Some he will take with him. When my face is healed, they bring me to him. He puts his fingers at me. His skin is cold like ice, like... Take a break. You're no good to me like this. The old man... The old man sounded like a pip. Little black boy. <laughs> Funny little piccaninny. Huh? Think we don't see you, piccaninny? Shelling on our streets? What the fuck you saying, yo? I don't even know what the fuck you are. On our streets, you've got to fight for them. You know how to fight? Where we are from, we fight forever. Nazis, communists, go to Bosnia to fight beside the Serbs. Fuck. Who do you fight, little pickaninny? You bitch! Every day of my motherfucking life, let me out of this fucking chair, I'm gonna wipe the floor with your tired old white ass. <laughs> Funny. Black shit. I suppose you disapprove. That is an invention called a gunfather. Very efficient. I've heard of it. But that's not what I meant. You don't like me being here at all, do you? I worked very hard to protect and provide for you. You've had a harsh, unforgiving life. I will like you to be able to enjoy the rest of it, but you keep getting involved in these things, father. You keep doing work that we have people for. Where are you going with that? The others. Why exactly? Go one as an example, and let the rest go. Lesson learned. If you kill them all, who will carry the message to the next king who comes along? You are an old woman, Christo. I am not. That's the message. That's the lesson. Learn it well. Fuck no. He doesn't give a shit. Not about the police. Not about repercussions. Not about everything we've built here. I'm thinking about killing my father, Veda. Yes, completely.
that is the old man and his son. His son is Cristo. He is bad, but he is not caring what he does. To him, all of it is business. Everything. Beating girls if they make trouble. It is just to make business run right. He does not really feel. I do not know the old man's name. He is like the devil. He likes what he does to me. I see it in his face. Other girls and me. The men line us up. And he... He sits in front of us and... He pays for me and two others. He brings me to America and I go back to work. But I have baby first. My Anna. They take her from me so I do not run. They let me see her once a week. They are not kind. It is Cristo because he knows I work harder if I can be with Anna. Cristo runs business for the old man. He makes all these decisions. All the man, not so much involved. There is house in Brooklyn. Clients are brought there from different places like Club of Anthony Pavla. Car windows are black, so no one sees where his house is. I am brought there the same way. From apartment, they keep the girls. Do you kill Pavla last night? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. House is run by a woman, Vera, but I do not think she lives there. They are very careful. She's like Christo about the business. I think they are close. But she is cruel. She knows ways to punish girls not just by beating. She gets in your head. I know it is her who has a dare to punish me. Last week a girl gets out. She gets a message back to us. Phone number of social worker who helps her. I am scared, but I must try. Next time with Anna, I... Let gods have me in trade to be alone with baby. I climb out the window, run for my life. But I do not know where I am. I've only been to apartment and house. A social worker comes. She is a stupid bitch. She says Anna will be safe at the place she takes us. Hotel room. She's rented. She has big plans to bring down Christo. So she's finding evidence to give the police. She's just full of shit. She keeps records on computer. Everything she does. Other girl. One who gets out. She's caught by Vera. When she tries to give the number to the rest of the girls, Vera gets number, finds out who social worker is, then hacks computer. We go to get me clothes, leave Anna at the hotel with stupid bitch boyfriend. We go back, boyfriend is beaten, Anna is gone. Yesterday, stupid bitch gets in there with attachment. <laughs> Boyfriend of stupid bitch has gone, so I steal. She tries to stop me, but I almost shoot her. I find Pavla's name in the phone book address of club. I don't even know what I am doing. I see him, and I just go crazy. Yeah. It is funny. America is supposed to be like promised land. I'm a little girl. My friends and I, we talk and talk about it. But I come here. And it is like a nightmare. What the fuck is this? You're the victims of a serious assault. You need to look the part. Oh no, Captain Price. Please tell me you're kidding. I ain't wearing any of this shit. Though yes you are, Officer Miller. You're ordering me to do it? Would you like me to? Unbelievable. You want some help with that? Fuck off, Westin. This bullshit was your idea. And just so you know, I'm friends with Sherry Marks at the 1-5. Your little maggot hand comes anywhere near my tits, and I'm gonna rip it off and shove it up your ass. Capish? Knock it off. We're on. Last night at approximately 11.30 p.m., the vigilante known as the Punisher was identified by two NYPD officers in the Ocean Parkway area of Brooklyn. He immediately disarmed and assaulted the two officers, Russ Parker and Marcin Miller, subjected them to a sustained and brutal beating. Only their training and experience saved them from being maimed or even killed. Fucking great. Mm. 
This arm is sound like a couple of assholes. So long as he's making shit up, couldn't he at least say the bastard jumped us? This vicious and unprovoked attack illustrates just how dangerous vigilantism, and this individual in particular, can be if allowed to go unchallenged. Those who support the Punisher's activity should think again, because with this incident, we have finally seen him show his true colors. The department will not allow this heavily armored and vengeful criminal to mete out his twisted version of justice in our city. The days of ignoring the Punisher in the vain hope that it'll go away, or over. He is not an embarrassing problem, never to be spoken of. He is a killer, and he will be hunted down and stopped. Nice. This is all your fault. If you hadn't gotten so close to the fuck, he would not got your gun off you. I seem to recall he did the same to you. Only cause I was stuck under your 170 pound ass. Well look on the bright side. A good two-thirds of that is cock. The matter of the utmost seriousness. Ha! <laughs> Fuck. The first thing I did was stash the girl over at a motel. Then I went over to Pavla's club, killed anyone who tried to pull a piece, and found the shit heel they had standing in for Pavla. I shot holes in his legs until he told me where to find the house Viorca had talked about. That was where things got kind of tricky. A firefight in the brothel would leave as many hookers dead as Christus fucks. Undercover wouldn't work. I look like trouble any way you cut it. I found that out the hard way. But the house was the next link in the chain. If I wanted Christu and his father, I needed to get in there. Tricky. A closer look and I forgot about a covert entry. The windows were alarmed, the doors were triple bolted. Go in hard and they have all the time they needed. To wipe the files, to get their people out the back. Inspiration was a while in coming. I gave them half an hour. That was just about the worst fuck of my life. Yo kin! After everything you hear about this place. Shit man! The girl they gave me was fucking pathetic. Mine was great. Uh, what happens now? Do you take us back to where we met you? Yeah, they couldn't see shit, so I was free to take them where I wanted. Not that they paid much attention to begin with. This terrible hand job that just went on forever, and then when I'm fucking her, she's covering her tits like she's terrified. I mean, why does she even do it, you know? Although, actually, I think I can probably guess the answer to that one. Huh? Oh, we're here. Where are the... Oh, Jesus, shit! What? What? Oh, fuck! Don't kill us! Please don't kill us! We, we... We didn't do anything! Fucking a girl who doesn't want it. What's that called? That was him! No, no, it wasn't like that. Jesus Christ, no! This can't be happening! We're going back. On the way, you'll tell me everything you saw inside the house. At the door, you'll say you left your wallet. Your driver said it was okay to come back. Th th then what? Then the fuck at the door dies quiet, and I go in. Or would have done. Pure bad luck. Must have seen me with the gun when they came across the bridge, then circled back to check. No! I'd heard them on the radio that afternoon, declaring open season. Still remember wondering about the timing, the day right after Viorica appeared. The cops I hit before were barely scratched. Someone had an angle, they were working. That was obvious. Hold, oh, goddammit! Shit! Ah! Fuck no! Ugh. Looks like it's time for the sustained and brutal beating. Unless maybe someone's full of shit. Jesus Christ. I was fucked. Once Christu's outfit heard who tried to hit them, the house would be abandoned. They'd have the girls out of there inside an hour. A week or two till things calmed down, then they'd start up somewhere else. I had a long walk home, and my only lead was a dead end. What I needed was a new way in. And I got one. Thinking back, even I was surprised from where it came from. <laughs>